thanks so much for clicking on my video. Today I wanted to show you um, a couple different binding techniques. Uh, and I've wanted to do this for a little while. Um, I've been kind of playing around with some bindings. Um, my very first scrapbook that I ever made was just an epic fail because the actual pages looked okay, but the binding was awful, so it pretty much ruined the entire thing. And that really taught me that you have to get a good binding or know what your binding is before you even really start a project. So um, if you're going to have um, one that you know or a scrapbook that you know you want to have lots of embellishments, then you need a binding that's going to be able to compensate for that and to be able to kind of expand as you go. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple techniques, um, some of my favorites, and I'll show you um, my one that is just a complete epic fail. Um, and you guys can laugh at that, but it was very important to learn and to um, sort of figure out what I needed to do better. So it's all about learning. And they say in scrapbooking that um, you can't really make a mistake. Um, you can always cover it up. Well, I'm going to show you a mistake that cannot be covered up. <laughs> so let's get into it. So the first couple are more standard. I think most people know about these techniques. The first one's probably the most simple, um, is these just these little binder rings. They're so standard. You can get them anywhere. Anybody can do it as long as they have a hole punch. Um, and they can, like this is chipboard here, and then, you know, this is actually a paper bag album. Um, so you see the binding in there, and then it and then it opens here so that you can see like the holes in between. So this is a really standard technique, and I really like it. Um, it's not the prettiest technique, but it certainly gets the job done. And I've seen all sorts of really cool ones where they've embellished the heck out of this part, um, the rings, and they've put all sorts of charms on them and all sorts of ribbon and really cool stuff, and they can make it look really nice. Um, so very standard. Most people know about this one. Then, of course, there's one of these, and this is only partially done, but you get the idea. Um, this I actually made. A lot of people um, have like a bind it all, or there's another one that I cannot remember right off the bat, but I actually just use a bind it all, and I really like this, this technique um, because, again, it looks a little bit fuller and cleaner to me. Um, and then, of course, you can also put like your charms and ribbons and all kinds of stuff on the outside here, which can add a lot to to the album if that's what you're into. Um, so these two are really standard techniques. So I'm going to show you a couple that aren't maybe quite as standard. Um, so this is a paper bag album, and the binding on this one is actually... Um, just sewn um, and what they did was um, I've kind of done some in there so um, they took three bags that were full-size bags they um, folded it in half um, all three of them they folded it in half and then they stacked it back to back um, and I think if I remember right they stacked it like um, one side had um, like the very bottom and then they kind of flip-flopped it on both sides but anyway they took three and they just sewed right down the middle there and I didn't actually do this you can buy these on eBay that are completely blank and then I just you know did um, like this one was a white one and I just like inked up the sides and put paper and stuff and these actually can save some money I think because I think I bought eight of them on eBay for like not quite ten bucks um, so it's pretty cheap and saved me some time and some work so it and and I really like it you can't put a ton of like thick embellishments on this one otherwise it won't close at all this actually um, this is about as thick as I can make this one without it looking crazy um, 
but you can still add like this this has a slot for like tags and this you know opens up so there's all there's a lot of places that you can put like embellishments and stuff you just have to you know like this is actually really thick because it folds out but it still works and it doesn't look overly outrageous or anything so I really like this binding technique if you want something that's a little bit more simple um, and then we get into a binding technique that I really liked and it was the first one that I felt wasn't totally crazy difficult um, so I haven't put the um, outside on this there should be um, something that's going to cover this back here but you can kind of see this is kind of like an accordion kind of look and what it is is you fold these paper you fold the paper in half and then you create kind of an M like each one of these is an M and the nice thing about these is that you can embellish and embellish a lot in these albums and they expand so um, so I really like these ones. I've made quite a few um, in this kind. And like my, and like this is a very chunky album. Like, like these are chunky um, flowers and there's all sorts of like openings. And this is like chipboard right here. And whoops, stuff's falling out of it. Um, like these are on pop dots and um, these are like thicker ribbon and all that kind of stuff like um, and there's just like openings everywhere and you can just fit so much in here without it like busting on the sides um, and this is strong enough I would just recommend using like a very strong um, card stock um, which is what I did and it has held all of my books have held really well um, and then you just add something on the back to kind of cover that up um, and and then there you have your album so I, I really like this technique um, and that's the one I stayed for stayed with for a long time um, and let's put that back in there so I don't lose it and then the last binding technique, which is actually now my favorite, it's the last album that I've done, um, is this binding technique right here. And the pages, this is actually an envelope album, and the pages um, are um, held in, like, they're held in with little slits, and the binding looks like this on the inside. It has these little oh you can't really see that because it's a little bit too dark but they have all these little slots like that and you just kind of stick the opening of the um, envelope in these slots um, and then of course you use like a strong scoring tape or something in there to keep them stuck down really well and you can put as much um, distance between these little slots as you want this I think all of mine are like maybe a fourth of an inch or so and you can kind of play with it and see like hey if you want some pages you know you want a little bit chunkier then you can you know increase the space in between them so it's really cool um, so then you just make it as high as you want it as high as your sheet and as many in there as you as you want and then you get something that looks like this and it's so clean on the inside it's sorry this is upside down it's so very clean on the inside look at that and like it lays really well it's just really nice and this is um, pretty chunky this album and I'm not even finished with it I only have like seven out of the 14 pages done um, and it's really pretty chunky but it is holding up just fine when I set it down it doesn't like flop up like crazy it's just a very clean look and then just to finish it off um, I just took a piece of um, uh, two pieces of um, chipboard like this is the outside so it was really easy I just took two pieces of chipboard and 
that were the size of the um, envelope and then are a little bit larger and then um, then I cut you know the chipboard for the binding for as wide as I for as wide as this would be right here maybe slightly wider and kind of fit it in between and then I just I just duct taped it together left a little slot and duct taped it and then I just put a piece of of nice cardstock on top of it on the outside and on the inside so that it was it looks clean um, and and that was really all I did for this one and I love this binding technique it is so clean and it's so pretty and um, and you know you really can't mess it up it has a lot of flexibility and so I really like this binding technique highly recommend it and it's really easy to do like I I don't like to fuss with my bindings very much but this was really easy um, and now I want to show you and there are tons of other bindings these are just some of the bindings that I've tried out and that I like that I understand and get I want to show you now my album that was just an absolute failure this is the first chipboard album I ever tried to attempt. And I actually even took the back of the binding off because it was just, I tried to salvage it and it just was not, I was not having it. Um, but the inside, I just, I had all these embellishments and stuff, but I just didn't leave enough space. I didn't leave a way for it to expand. And the binding, too, I didn't leave a space for it to expand at all either. And it just sort of ripped up. Um, and there was just many things wrong with this album. It was supposed to be tied together with this ribbon here. Um, and it just, it just didn't work. Pages started falling apart. Um, it just was no good. Um, so epic failure and I didn't realize that the binding was going to be a fail until I'd completed the entire album and it just didn't work. So what are you going to do? You know, you learn and you get better and it's important to have these unfortunate fails so that you can learn and do better and make awesome scrapbooks that will last you. I've made scrapbooks for a few of my friends and I really enjoy it. So I hope that you like some of these scrapbook techniques. Um, and if you have any that you think I should try, please, please let me know. Um, I've seen so many awesome things on online. My little boy is coming out because he's supposed to be sleeping. Um, but Yes, I've seen uh, uh, other binding techniques with like ribbon and all sorts of cool stuff. So if you have um, a binding technique that you think I should try, um, then please let me know or link, you know, the video, the tutorial for me. Um, always coming up with, with cool, fun ideas that I see on everybody's YouTube pages that are absolutely awesome. And thank you so much because I've been inspired countless times by all of the this beautiful, beautiful works of art that you guys put out um so so anyway thanks so much for watching my video i hope you have fun with your binding techniques and they're not too fussy for you all right so i'll see you guys later